Very good morning to one and all. I'm Dr. Durga, Associate Professor, Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Sri Lakshmi Narayana Institute of Medical Sciences, Puducherry, here to discuss on topic contraception. India was the first country in the world to have launched a national program for family planning in the year 1952. An ideal family means two parents and two children. The red triangle is India's family planning symbol. The need for contraception. About 21% of all pregnancies resulting in live births are unintended pregnancies. Around two-fifths of all pregnancies are unintended. If unmet needs of contraception is met, then we can avoid about 55 million unwanted pregnancies, 22 million fewer abortions, and 90,000 fewer maternal deaths. The reasons of unintended pregnancies are mostly because of unawareness of the contraceptive methods available. Use of traditional methods of contraception which are ineffective and leading to pregnancies. The fear of side effects of the contraceptive methods, the high cost of the modalities available, difficult mode of delivery, fear of irreversibility of fertility. Now, what are the characteristics of ideal contraceptive device? It should be safe, 100% effective in preventing pregnancy, free of side effects, easily obtainable at an affordable price, acceptable to the user and compatible with them, free of effects on future pregnancies, thereby leading to reversal of fertility on stoppage of the drugs. Now these are the various types of contraceptives like oral contraceptives, condom, which are the barrier devices, and other barrier devices like intrauterine devices. So at various levels, we see them acting. At the ovary level, we have the oral contraceptives, which brings about anomalation. At the uterine level, we have the intrauterine devices. At the cervical level, we have the barrier devices. The options of contraception are mainly the long-acting reversible methods of contraception, which are the intrauterine devices and the implants. The non-long-acting reversible contraceptives are the oral contraceptive pills. And the other one is the barrier method, which contains the cervical cap, diaphragm, female condoms, and so on. Coming to the male condoms, what are the types? They are mainly of dry type, pre-lubricated ones, and in association with spermicide. Examples of dry types are the Nerod and Kohinoor. The pre-lubricated ones, we have the Nerod, which are lubricated, and Kama Sutra. And spermicidal ones are the Raksha. The male condoms are made up of two common materials, either latex or polyurethane. The government of India provides free of cost dry condoms, which are also lubricated. They are the narrow the lubricated ones. The latex condoms are the most common type of condoms. The main advantage of latex condoms are that they can be stretched a lot before it breaks. That means it is good at preventing the semen from going through the condom. The failure rate for a typical user of a latex condom is 12 percentage, whereas for a perfect user, it is 3 percentage. The other type are the polyurethane condoms are also very common, very similar to latex condoms in size. They have a longer shelf life than latex condoms. They have less allergic reactions to them. Can be used with oil-based lubricants. These condoms also prevent sexually transmitted infections. But the major disadvantage 
is that they slip more and break more and are more expensive. What are the advantages of male condoms? They are readily available, suitable for all age group, harmless method, prevents sexually transmitted infection. The later risk of acquiring an STI is only 0.1 percentage. If used in later half of pregnancy, it reduces the risk of amniotic fluid infection. If used for greater than five years, it reduces the risk to cervical intraepithelial dysplasia. The disadvantages are they cause high sensitization, particularly the latex condoms, difficult to dispose in villages. Coming to the female condoms, this type of contraceptive is put into the vagina before having the sex. It has two ends with rings on them. The end that goes into the vagina has a closed rim and the end that stays outside has an open rim, as you see in the picture. The failure rate of a female condom, the typical user, is 21% and for a perfect user, it is 5%. Coming to the barrier methods, another example is an occlusive clap. Could be a vaginal diaphragm or a cervical cap, a vault cap, and a venule cap. These occlusive caps are not sperm proof mechanical barriers, so they retain spermicide the time with the cervical os. Sperm site must be used in concurrence with an occlusal cap. Usually they are made up of rubber. Another variety is a vaginal diaphragm. This is a dome shaped object that is also made of rubber. It fits around the cervix, preventing the sperm from being able to enter the uterus. This is used with the sperm site. Available in different sizes, 60 mm, 65, 70, and 75 mm. Three types are there. They are the flat type, foil type, arching type. The failure rate of a vaginal diaphragm in a typical user is 16%, whereas for a perfect user, it is 6%. The cervical caps, these are rubber caps that are inserted into the vagina and fits around the uterus. This blocks the passage of sperm to enter the uterus. This is used with the spermicides. Three to four available sizes starting from 21 mm to 31 mm. Examples are the ortho cervical cap and Miller cervical cap. The typical user, the failure rate is 16% in a nulliparous woman, where it decreases to 32% in a paris woman. In a perfect user, comparatively, the incidence of failure rate is less. However, always a paris woman shows a higher rate of pregnancy with the use of cervical caps. Walt cap is a rubber or a plastic in nature, which is 50 to 75 mm in size, is replaced by a diaphragm. Example, situmas. The venule cap is a type of cervical cap used in women with a prolapse when diaphragm cannot be maintained. Example, it's a venule vessel. The disadvantages of occlusive caps are sperm site can cause irritation in the vagina. If the gap is not removed well in time, the general discharge may present. Allergic reactions are common due to silicon cap and toxic shock syndrome is a rare complication. Coming to the medical eligibility criteria for occlusive claps. In category 4 women, it is can be used. Those persons who have history of is toxic shock syndrome, uterine or vaginal abnormalities, high risk of HIV, 
allergic to latex or inability use uh, of the user to insert they are not used they belong to category 3 and those persons who have delivered within 6 to 12 weeks harass women and who have a complicated valvular disease also belongs to category 2 and they are not and these cervical caps are not used there sponges today is a most common brand name it is saturated with non-oxenol 9 non-oxenol spermicide has a spermicidal action it blocks the cervix and absorption of semen it acts for 24 hours can be removed after 8 to 24 hours but not before 6 hours the major side effect of sponges are toxic shock syndrome Failure rate in a typical user is 16 percentage, whereas for a perfect user it is 9 percentage. The spermicides. What is the mechanism of action? They alter the surface, surface membrane permeability of the sperms, thereby creating osmotic changes leading to the death of the sperms. The MEC criteria for a spermicide declines with high risk of HIV and who are HIV positive belongs to category 4. In category 2, who have high risk of pregnancy, sensitive to a spermicide and a cervical cancer. Coming to the non-long-acting reversible hormonal contraceptive methods. We have two types. We are basically the binaural contraceptives and the progesterone only pills. Combine oral contraceptives, we have oral formulations, patch forms, as well as ring forms. The types of combined oral contraceptive pills, depending upon the type of progesterone and the composition of the estrogen and progesterone in various phases of the cycle, it is divided into monophasic pills and triphasic pills. In monophasic pills, Examples are microgrind, ovranet, euglion. The type of progesterone is levonorgestrel. In monophasic pill, the amount of estrogen is 30 microgram of ethanyl estradiol. In triphasic pills, it is a trion, trinodial, and logenone. Norethistone containing monophasic pills are the normine. Loistrin and Ovis Brevino, which contains 35 to 20 microgram of estrogen. The triphasic pills are the trinovum, binovum, and synphase. Not just to be containing monophasic pill, example is a Celeste. Desogestrone is a Mercilon or Mavilon. Gestogene is another type of progesterone. Which is present in this type of pills called femodine, melut, and femodet. Triphasic pill is called triminolit. And the one common one which you may be aware of, drospiro, is present in the monophasic pill called yasmin. Now, what would we see? What do you mean by monophasic, biphasic, and triphasic pills? In all these, there is fixed amount of estrogen. It is only with a concentration of progesterone. It is divided into mono, bi, and tri. In monophasic, each tablet contains a fixed amount of estrogen and progesterone. Biphasic pill, each tablet contains a fixed amount of estrogen, while the amount of progesterone increases in the second half of the cycle. Triphasic, the amount of estrogen fixed or variable, while the amount of progesterone increases three equal phases. Examples of oral contraceptives and division into first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation OCPs. In the first generation, the amount of ethanol is 50 microgram. As the generation increases, the amount of ethanol estradiol decreases. 
and second generation, it is 30 to 35 microgram of ethanol is real. And the common progestins are the levonorgestrel and norgestimate, it's called Mala N and Mala D. The government of India has supplied these drugs free of cost. Third generation, the amount of ethanol is real is 20 to 30, lesser than the first and second. With the progester combination, is desogestrel and gestodine goes by names Femilon and Lowet. The fourth generation fills the amount of ethanol is 20 to 30 microgram. And the combination progesterone is Trospirone, Dinogest, or Normigestrel. Yasmin, ethanol is and Trospirone, it contains. Drospirone has a weak anti mineralocorticoid activity. Hence, it is very useful in polycystic ovarian disease. Now we shall talk about progestin only pills. Each tablet contains one of the below set progestogens like levonorgestrel, which is 0.075 milligram. Nogestrel, 0.03. Desogestrel, 0.075. Norethidrone 0.035, ethanol diacetate 0.50. Now, when it is used, it is usually started after six weeks of dietary and lactating movement. Should be started within five days of periods. The safety margin is 12 hours, and the failure rate is 0.5 to 2 per 100 women years. The common available one is a seracid which contains desogestrel, 75 microgram. There are newer formulations of oral contraceptives, which we must be aware of. These are usually given as continuous usage of OCPs. Seasonal, which contains 0.15 milligram of levonorgestrel and 30 microgram of ethanol estradiol. Women take a pill every day for 84 days and 7 days harmoniously pill week. Seasonic Q, which contains same levonorgestrel 0.15 mg and ethanol estradiol of 30 mg, 0.30 mg. It is also taken as 84 bar 7 day tablet, it means 7 days it is a pill free week. Pimcot Fess, which contains ethanol estradiol and no ethindrone. It's a chewable, spear-shaped, uh, spear mint-flavored tablet. Centropomen. The government of India has introduced this under the brand name of Saheli. 30 mg of Centropomen is there. It is taken one tablet twice weekly from the first day of menses for the first three months. And thereafter, it is only once a week. Contraceptive patches, the newer forms, which are not yet available in India. It is 5 cm part 5 cm patch, which contains methanine estradiol of 20 microgram and nor algestromin, which is 150 microgram. It is attached via the skin. Compliance is very good. Avoids all absorptive problems from and very much useful in those persons who have GI disorders, bulimia, pergi, travelers, or aircrew. Constant hormone levels are maintained in those persons using this patch. Example is of auto ebra. Each patch lasts for one week, and three patch for each cycle, followed by a week of patch-free interval. The failure rate is one per hundred women year. It is applied over the upper outer arm, upper torso, excluding the breast, the buttocks, and the abdomen. Coming to the long-acting versatile contraceptive methods, we have the subdermal implants or the implanon. This implanon is placed underneath the skin of the arm. Intrauterine systems 
like Merina, Copper tea, and a multi load device. Injectable contraceptives like Depo Provida, which contains hydroxyprogesterone acetate, 150 mg per ml. Shall we discuss these long acting methods in little detail? Norplans consists of six capsules to 216 mg of levonorgestrel, with each capsule having 36 mg of levonorgestrel. The rate of release of levonorgestrel is 85 microgram per day during the first six months and 50 microgram per day for the next nine months and then 30 thereafter. So it is very effective for five years. Not plan two for the gerail, which has two rods and each rod contains 75 milligram of the drug. The rate of release is the same and it is effective for five years. In plan on an exaplon, which contains 68 milligram of etanogestrel, initially, the release is 60 to 70 microgram per day, which reduces to 25 to 30 microgram per day. It is effective for three years. Capronor is a biodegradable levonorgestrel releasing implant. It releases levonorgestrel at a faster rate, thereby it is effective only for one year. What are the causes of implant failures? 50% are linked with the non-insertion. 25% with the liver enzyme inducers, mostly capsaicin and none with lamotrigine. Overall, so far, the implant failure is 0.049 per 100 implants fitted. The method failure rate, the technique by which we implant, is 0.01 per 100 implants. 11.6% of all in treatment pregnancies are ectopy. Now, classification based on the content of intra device. We have the inert intra devices and bioactive or the medicated ones. The inert or the non medicated ones. Example are the lipase loop and safety coil. They are inserted by the push out technique. Bioactive methods, the medicated ones, example the copper T, multi load 250A, copper T 200, 380A, and 300A. They are all inserted by the withdrawal technique. The hormone releasing IUDs like Merina, the Vonogestral Intrauterine System are also inserted via the withdrawal technique. So these are the examples of the intra devices. The first one, copper T380A. It has copper for a 380 millimeter square surface area and releases copper in about 50 microgram per day. The multi-load copper devices no plunger system is there to 50 millimeter. Okay, uh, millimeter is the surface of the copper and releases about 75 microgram per day. The levonorgestrel containing intrauterine system contains 52 microgram of levonorgestrel, releases 20 microgram per day. The low failure rate is there of one to three per thousand women. For this research, it contains lesser amount of 38 uh, milligram of progesterone releases 65 microgram. It is effective for one year. Now, what are the newer contraceptives available? The Gyne Fix, the frameless intrauterine device. It contains six bracelet of copper that are crimped onto a string and affixed to the fundal myometry. It contains 330 millimeters square of copper with higher expulsion rate. Now we shall see the injectable progesterone contraceptives. There are two main types, the depot 
medroxy progesterone acetate called by DMPA and the norethindrone enanthate, net EN. The DMPA contains microcrystals suspended in an aqueous solution. The dosage is 150 milligram given as IM by the Z track technique every three months, once in every three months. It is given within the first seven days of menstruation and its efficacy is equal to that of sterilization. The newer formulation contains 30% less than progesterone than DMPA and can be given as subcutaneously, which is a newer modification. The non-enanthate is given in a dose of 200 mg once in every two months. It is also given in the same way the first seven days of menstrual cycle. The main disadvantage of these injectable progesterone contraceptives at the return of fertility is questionable. It takes two to three years even after stoppage of the drug to return to fertility. The government of India has introduced a contraceptive basket in almost all primary health centers and government centers where the DNPA or the Depot Medroxy Progesterone Acetate is given free of cost. It is given as once in every three months to age group of women between 80 to 45 years who will be receiving this medication of DNPA free of cost. It will be administered by doctors and staff nurses at government hospitals nearly four times a year to a woman who want to delay or avoid pregnancies. Another newer method of contraception is a gel form, transdermal gel forms. Nestrogen is one brand name. It is just now in trial. It has completed a successful phase two trial and it has gone to a phase three trial now suppresses ovulation for 21 days. It is well tolerated and no androgenic side effects have been reported. It is applied in dosage of 2.3 mg per day once for 21 days. So daily you apply for 21 days and then for 7 days these are pill or gel free days. The trade names are Gelnic Elestrin, estradiol gel, and nestrogen. A male contraceptive, Gossibor, is an aldehyde derived from seeds, stem roots of a cotton plant, which inhibits spermatogenesis and decreases epididymal motility, decreases the conversion of pro acrosin to acrosin. It is administered 10 to 20 mg daily for 3 months and then 20 mg twice weekly. The other method, the sure system, the transcervical method of introducing the assure. The corneal end of the fallopian tube is occluded with a micro insert which has a fine stainless steel inner coil and an expandable outer coil of nickel and titanium. It is very expensive and success rate of 99% equivalent to a sterilization method. The quinacrin pellets are intertubal chemical methods. The pellets have been inserted into the fallopian tubes through an IUD inserter that contains the pellets results in permanent sterilization by producing scarring to block the fallopian tubes. ADIANA, a hysteroscopic method of sterilization. Two-step process controlled thermal damage of the endosalpins followed by insertion of biocompatible matrix plus matrix plus within the tubal lumen. ELA, the ulipristal acetate tablet of 30 mg is present, 30 mg. Now, this is a tablet form. We have an IUD 
which is impregnated with this uliprestyl acetate, which is a selective progesterone receptor modulator. It acts by suppression of ovulation causes endometrial atrophy. The failure rate is 0.1 to 2.5 percentage. Another one, newer contraceptive, Sinapress. 104 milligram per 0.65 ml suspension of injection of medroxyprogesterone acetate. Now this is the subcuticular form of administration of the injectable form of medroxyprogesterone acetate. It is licensed for self-administration given every 13 weeks once. That is approximately every 12, every 3 months with plus or minus 7 days. It is a subcutaneous pre-filled unicheck injector given into the upper upper uh, front upper thigh or abdomen. Use if intramuscular is contraindicated or unsafe. It is very effective in thin women and is less invasive. The intrauterine board is a revolutionary new product in the intrauterine contraceptive field. It is a three-dimensional ball-shaped device that is inserted into the uterine cavity to prevent pregnancy. Its efficacy is similar to current copper intrauterine devices. However, its insertion is simpler. Its improved safety profile has been demonstrated in a clinical trial and it is expected to offer a better quality of life over current devices. Fertility regulating vaccines are the newer upcoming patients. The anti-human chorionic gonotrophic vaccine uses tetanus toxoid diphtheria as carriers. The antibodies produced by the anti hexetal vaccine neutralizes human chorionic gonotrophin from the fertilized egg, leading to endometrial shedding with loss of fertilized ovum. However, the initial results are not very promising. We have papers published, but yet to be used. The anti sperm vaccines. The research has focused on two types of sperm antigens. They are the functional antigens and structural antigens. Functional antigens, as the enzymes known to be required for sperm metabolism, like lactic dehydrogenase 10, involved in sperm egg interactions and the process leading to fertilization, aquosin and hyaluronidase. So against these enzymes, vaccines are produced. Structural antigens such as the molecules expressed on the surface of the sperm, the cell membrane, and which may be involved in the gamete interaction and fusion. Anti-ovum vaccines, antigen focused on the surface antigen zona pellucida, the jelly-like lipoprotein coat surrounding the egg against which vaccines are produced. To date, however, no convincing data have been presented to indicate that it can inhibit fertility without causing an inflammatory reaction in the ovary, which might be indicative of a risk of acute ovarian disturbances or long-term immunopathology. These are the new ones, remote-controlled contraceptive chips, which are placed subdermally. So in conclusion, India's public sector program claims to provide a cafeteria approach with a basket of choices. The method mix in this program includes five official methods like male sterilization, female sterilization, intrauterine contraceptive devices, oral contraceptives, and condoms. Thank you.